Hey everybody, Miracle Sims here, and I just wanted to take this time to kind of comment on a show that I've been watching. Um, it's called Ready to Love. It was on the OWN channel. Um, I do think I really enjoy watching the process um, as somebody that kind of struggled with being single uh, when I was single. Um, as you guys, if you've been following me for a long time, then you know I used to do my whole um, the hopeful romantic thing and then um, talking about being a Christian single woman and stuff like that. And so when I was watching Ready to Love, I definitely could relate to just the struggles of dating and stuff like that. So it was kind of cool to, you know, watch uh, the people go through the process and everything like that. Um, but I kind of want to talk about um, the guy, Aaron, in particular. Now, I know everybody's talking about him, um, so I'm not going to bash him, per se, because um, I guess he had his moment, he had his apology and all that, so I'm not going to speak from that perspective. But I'm just going to speak to the women um, in regards to, like, I guess because I feel like I've been there or I was... Um, Back in the day, I used to call them my Mr. Right Nows. Um, and it would be like guys that I would deal with that maybe I kind of knew in the back of my mind, like, okay, maybe he really don't take this as seriously as I do. Or um, maybe I like him more than he likes me or stuff like that. I think we as women tend to deal with that type of thing. Maybe, Maybe the women were more focused on looks and um he did have the charisma and all that stuff and I can get that because I definitely even myself I was going for guys that um were that made themselves stand out um I always went for that type of guy and so I ended up marrying a guy that was completely different from me the guy I wanted. So I want I'm gonna go I feel like I'm gonna do a story time video about that. About um I guess my process and stuff. But um in this video basically I wanna just kinda chit chat about the whole situation of like women at the end of the day they did pick him to be in the top three. Um and I forget his name um but there was this dark skinned guy. He has like a beard now, and he was, you know, I guess he was feeling some kind of way throughout the process because he's like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm muscular too. Like, you know, the X, Y, and Z. Like, they're not paying any attention to me. Um, everybody's so into this Aaron guy, blah, blah, blah. And so, that's the thing. I feel like sometimes we as women we look over, like, the real decent guy, <laughs> you know. Um, to go for the guy that made himself stand out or the guy that's like flashy or the guy that like had all the charisma or whatever um, when they probably could have really found something special or really had an, a good solid foundation or whatever with the other guy who might have been just as built um, you know yeah I mean that, that's it that's it. I mean, I was just going to say that that's basically what I'm saying. It's like, you know, sometimes we as women, we we pick those type of guys. And that's what they did. They picked the guy that made himself stand out. They picked the guy that was flashy and all that. And looked over the one guy that was there to love or was there to try to find love. Um, I think there's just something within us as women. It's like... At least for me, I just feel like that. At least for me, I felt like I was really able to appreciate my husband after I experienced a person that was like completely opposite of my husband. So um, I'm going to tell my story because I feel like that's going to help this conversation go a lot smoother. Um, so I'll try to do a story time video soon, but um, let that marinate, ladies. Sometimes the guy you really need is going to be different from what you thought you may want it. That's it.